Welcome back to Uncharted, brought to you by Guggenbaits and Ketchco. We are about to leave the goat farm here, uh, the beautiful farming experience. We're going to El Cachillo. El Cachillo is a new lake uh, for just about every one of us. Juan is, is the only one that has experience here at this place, but the reports from this week, the, the friends that he's got down here that he's been talking to, it is so exciting. So I've been to Mexico before. I have not been to this lake that we're going to. I've been to Comadero a couple times, and all I know about Mexico is it just is a haven for giant bass. Like It's unlike, you're basically fishing on another planet when you go to Mexico. Yeah. That's why a lot of people go to Mexico. Dinosaurs. It's nowhere like in the United States. You go to Mexico and you're basically guaranteed giant, giant fish. We're excited. I'm, I'm super excited trying to get redemption. Like I say, I've been here before. I've been to Cuchillo twice and you know, we caught some nice fish, but I haven't really put my, my hands on a truly giant fish. So I'm hoping to do that on this trip and hopefully get those points and beat Mr. Flayer here and Dangle Master. It's gonna be it's gonna be a challenge, but that's my goal to 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 get them on this trip. Good luck. fishing on the border in Texas. All these nasty trees means big nasty bass. We made it. We finally made it to where we're staying here. We're gonna stay in this nice little villa. We're gonna get everything unloaded and uh, like unpacked and like I said, and then we're gonna jump in the boats and hopefully take off here, so. Man, our villa is like right by the water. First impressions, you can see that the water's down and there's a tournament going on right now. So you can see kind of where people are fishing and where the fish are setting up. There's a lot of points, there's a lot of structure in this lake and there's cover too. Like there's there's all these trees that are right on the bank. It looks like you could walk down there and catch fish. I hope that's the case. We're just in those like in jitter mode right now, wanting to get down there and just throw a line out. Preparations for the Mondos. It's happening right now. Getting ready to go on Lake Chio for the first time. So we're preparing. We've got our challenge, gentlemen. So let's go over what we got here. Why are you getting ready? Here we go. Each fish today is going to be worth 100 points. There's a little bonus action if you catch them on a zinger or a hummer which is a spinnerbait and a buzzbait with our good partners at Ketchco. And then we also have 200 points for the person with the most fish. Okay, now here's the big kicker. Bonus, eight pounds, ocho, 300 points. And then El Grande, the 10 pounder, 500 points. So that is, uh, that is our point system for today. An eight pounder, a 10 pounder could absolutely happen out here. Uh, and I'm, I'm excited to see how many bites we're actually gonna get. That could be a key point system. As we're finishing rigging up here, folks, we need to remind you guys a little bit about what this, this whole thing is about. This is all about 
who's going to win to donate $500 to charity brought to you by Catchco and Goo Bait. So quick reminder, if you guys missed episode one, I have 100 points. Rackley has 200 points and Juan is sitting over there at a fat goose egg. And we've got, like we've talked about the fishing competition today. We also have another thing planned later this afternoon that could also potentially give somebody some bonus points. But whoever at the end of this whole trip has the most points gets to pick a charity. I'm picking St. Jude's to donate. I'm fishing for the American Red Cross. And I am fishing for the Wounded Warrior Project. The Wounded Warrior Project provides a variety of programs for our men in service that come home. They have all these programs to help them once they return home. To learn more about this awesome program and organization, please check the link below. And I wanna give a huge shout out and thanks to Guggenbait and Cashco for giving us this money to donate to these awesome companies. Ladies and gentlemen, when you go to launch a boat here in Mexico, you better have yourself a four wheel drive. I want you to just take a gander at these boats and trucks that are just putting in right here. I mean, they're backing in half the truck into the water, the whole truck. That's how they do it out here. Lake is really low right now. <laughs> wow. First spot, uh, we got some gravel bank, little bit of stumps, and we're just gonna fish all this uh, shoreline here, and hopefully we get our first fish in the boat. That's what a line. Rackley's already, he's, he's, he's itching. He's itching to give it a dangle. I think my plan is gonna be start with a spinner bait, something moving, see how active these fish are, uh, and obviously the zinger's worth extra points, so if I can get a fish on that, then I'm already gonna be ahead of these boys right here. Start out with the Texas rig. Trenchy, trench hog, natural. This is my favorite color out of all Guggen Bays. And down here, the tilapia, they have kind of like a silver shad style belly, but they're dark, like blues, greens, purples. So I think this is a really good color. Got a little bit of chartreuse dip on there. Now this, this looks, I mean, it's somewhat reminded me of, of the past Mexico adventures, but it's definitely a little bit different. I mean, I'm noticing a lot thicker brush um, and it seems to be much wider. I mean, it's like, we're like almost out on an ocean to where you can, you know, you can see the other side, but it's, you're on a huge lake. Um, and there's not as nearly as much mountains as there was on some of the previous stuff. So it's totally different than what I'm used to, something I've never experienced before. Um, but the first spot we pulled up on, there's, there's two people, uh, two different boats that are right there. So that means, I mean, you would think that might mean that's a good, that's a good place to start. But Rackley's throwing Texas rig, I'm throwing the zinger and Juan is throwing the saucy swimmer. So we're all trying different things to see what these fish are gonna like. And once someone catches the first fish, it's game on. I've got one. Oh God, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh. Did you see how far he ran before I even set the hook? Yeah. He was here, I thought he was back there. Yeah. Just a little guy, and my drag slipped yeah, like crazy. Yeah, I was about to say that. I checked, um... oh no, my drag's really loose. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, all right. A little, little rusty on the, the fishing, okay? <laughs> a little rusty. Get those toes some tan. Wow. I had a fish, though. That was a large. We saw him. I mean, he wasn't giant. A couple pounder, but... But those were the 200 hey, pounds? Fish is a I mean, fish, man. That, 200 that, points. I just, I, just, I just missed it, so... That was uh, fish number one. I had the first bite. It means nothing, but maybe we're, maybe we're on the fish. It means something. It means sign of life. We got fish in the area. So on that bite, I actually ended up switching up baits. I started off with the zinger because I wanted the extra points. Once we started not getting any bites, I was like, well, you know what? We might want to slow down. These fish are thinking about spawning. They're probably not really thinking about eating that much. Um, so, I mean, I wanted to slow down a little bit. So I put on this little Guggen Baits Crack and Craw, dipped in some little chartreuse. This is blue baby color. And I believe this, this is, might be three quarter ounce or half ounce. I'm not sure which one I grabbed, but on that Guggen Squad fluorocarbon, 25 pound. And we're just flipping these bushes right here. And I threw right in the center of it. And I didn't feel him bite. I just watched my line swimming. And by the time I set the hook, he was already at the back of the boat. So it's a good sign that we had a fish on, but uh, I need to get one in the boat. Oh, 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 come oh, on out oh, there, baby. Oh, no. First strike. No. 
Come off, please come off. Yeah. Oh. Dude, he tore that trench hog up. I kind of pitched over there to that tree and he got to the bottom and doink. So there's you, a male bass. Mexico bass, baby. First one you for the trip. You know what we trip. gotta do. Oh yeah, yippah! Woo! First El Cachillo bass in the books. Ice has been broken, monkey off the back. So we're in a, a kind of like a pre-spawn, spawn area. And there's a lot of male bass like that, that that move up first and the water's 62 degrees and once they get their beds made and everything here over the next few days you know there could be some absolute lurkers coming up so this is exciting spawning grounds we're out of the chilly weather here in mexico it's time to catch a baby Woo! that was fun you know, as bummed as I am that that was not me about five minutes ago catching the fish, it, it, it does feel good to get a fish in the boat. Even though it's not mine, and even though Rackley is in the lead, it still makes me feel good knowing that, you know, there's fish here. I didn't, it wasn't just a fluke that I accidentally, you know, almost hooked a fish. Just within the last five minutes, we've had two bites. So, starting to pick up, we're starting to get them figured out, but we really need some big fish. making a change here folks I'm thinking you know these fish the wind did believe it or not the wind actually died down when we got here I mean there is it's glass out here bluebird sky sunny you know these fish are thinking about spawning again not really thinking about eating so I'm gonna go to the grand old go-to the classic never fail lunker log this thing works all around the world and uh, I, watermelon red flake and uh, should I, should I dip it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, dip the dip the tail. Definitely need to dip the tail. And I'm gonna downsize. Right now I'm using like, I think it might be a three quarter ounce weight. It's pretty big. Um, I'm gonna downsize it all the way down to about a three eighths. Something a little bit more finesse. Gonna stick with the fluorocarbon so they can't see it. Go with something super natural and see if I can get some fish in the boat and take the lead. That's a juicy cast. Did you have one? No way. Dude, turn around, please. I didn't hook her. He says he has a big one over there that he needs to catch. No, I don't I don't know if he wants a big one. He was definitely a fish. My first real bite. Arturo told me he like I was about to talk to a camera and he like throw on the other side. And now uh, I just got a big old pool. Get that baby. <laughs> Don't worry, Juan. You got her? I got you. Double team, Juan. We're double teaming. <laughs> <laughs> it's a two for one at googanbaits.com. Let's go. Yep. What did I say, boys? Get up. Oh, oh my god, it's a giant. It's a big It's a giant. Oh god, it's, it's a giant. Oh my god, oh, 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 Easy, what? easy, what? easy! Oh my God! Oh my Let's God! Let's get another pass. Oh, Let's get another pass. Oh, dude, it's Armando. Okay. Oh, Rackley's oh. coming here. Oh no! Come on, Rackley. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hey, easy, 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 easy. Stick your rod over. Stick your rod over. Oh. No! Let's go! Let's go! What did I say? What? Oh, my first cast with the lunker log, dude. Oh, I yeah. stole your fish. <laughs> I you're stole good, it. You're good. You're good. You're good. <laughs> I'm sorry, oh, Juan. God. I was totally kidding. No, you're good. Juan did it to me earlier, so I was I was trying to be funny. I was like, oh, Juan, we'll <laughs> double team it. Gugan bait, baby. Look at that oh, fish, yeah. dude. He goes, yep. Oh my god. Boom. Look at that. Uh, Fresh <laughs> lunker log. Woo! Shoot. First Great. cast. Nice First. Job cast you know what we're throwing now baby Woo good job homie that's a nice one. Oh my oh, that's, God. that's a points i did not expect that <laughs> i feel so bad i still want no fish. you're good you're good bro you can have it trust me you can you have it that, there's that's plenty of those game. around that's here seven or so yeah this, this. Oh, oh, oh. welcome back to uncharted Shoo. <laughs> that's a big one dude that's a big one yeah that's a seven <laughs> close to seven <laughs> 
For sure. Good God. For sure. I've got Boga if you want to put it on it. Didn't I? No. 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 Mm. So, looks like it's so right seven. there, right at seven. Called it. Nice. Right at seven. Nice job, bro. Wow. My first Mexico bass of the trip is a seven pounder. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I'll take it, folks. Unreal. First cast of the Lunker Log. Absolutely pounded it. There she goes. Shoo! Adios, amigo. Wow. What a first fish. <laughs> I can't believe it. That was just too good. Switched up baits, stole Juan's fish, first fish. So I'm in the lead for big fish right now. And uh, welcome to Mexico. Juan, baby. Juan, I hate to say it, but you better start catching fish, my friend. Because uh, <laughs> oh no, oh no, perfect. Oh no, Juan, now you really should start catching fish. Numero dos, right there, not as big as flares. Points are points, baby. You let your little fish go for your first fish to be a giant. Yeah, that's yeah. true. That's a bold move. That's true. Players Take whatever on the road I get. Today. This this is what it's all about. Thank you, Catch Call. Thank you, Guan Bait. We're getting mondos here. Let's do it. <clears throat> oh no. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's a big one too. Nice. Oh, that's a good That's nice. a good one. He's on the drop. Yeah. Arturo. Jay. He's on the drop. That's a good oh, one. That's right a, just a nice Mexican bass right there. Choo! Oh, yeah. <laughs> a nice male fish. Probably came in like five to seven feet of water. So that big female that Flair just caught was actually up spawning, we think, on a tree in like three foot. And this one was kind of on a drop, getting ready to move up in five, six feet of water. So right there, that old Texas rig, using that same color, natural, El Natural, we say down here. And that's just a nice, beautiful bass. Smells sweet. And I think that, that puts me way in the lead right now. I've got one. Oh, baby! Oh, oh. Oh, squeaker, you better get him in though. Squeaker! Shoo! On the board, baby, with the squeaker. Squeaker McGee here. <laughs> yeah, they're pecking at it. You were completely right, Barkley. Yeah. Those little ones, they're like. Boop, 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 boop. There you go, look at that. Bandito bug. And this is on the um, red flake. Super nice color for this water. I done some damage here on that color. First Lovina from Cuchillo. That's how you call bass down here, Lovina. Uh, nice little half a pounder. Feels good, 100 points. Adios, senorita. Oh, 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 little guy. Little guy. Just crushed it though. Yee! First fish on the jig, throwing that big jig with a little bandito on it. It's one of those males that's moving up on this point. We've had like four bites right here, and all of them have just kind of nipped it and moved off. This is the first one that connected, just slammed it. it has to be on a bed, so. Common thing with Mexican fish, a little yellow tail. Happy sniff. See ya, baby. Extra points. Can I get extra points for that? No. Okay. Well, we only have like 20 minutes left. We're going to go hit one more spot. Juan has got something planned for us that is literally going to be, I don't know, he says we could get injured. I mean, it's it's wild traditional thing. It's crazy. And we're got, we got to go do that. I don't know what it is, but let's go catch some more fish, guys. You got some catching up to do. It's coming right at me. Oh, it's oh. tiny. No. Oh. <laughs> I thought it was a big one trying to catch up. Little guy. I, I would have told you it was an eight pounder. Five casts in. I got a bite and then boom, this guy, little guy. Had a much bigger bite, but little guy tried to, he latched on. I got him in. It's 100 points. Go ahead and 
to whatever surprise you got cooking for us, man. I, I got, hope you're ready, senor. See, I, yeah. I, I'm, I'm happy. There's an opportunity for me to beat this guy. I'm not trying to beat you, not today, because it's yeah. just not happening. But there's 100 points up for grabs at this next event. But Juan has been keeping it a secret this whole time. He said it's just not fishing. So it's not taco eating. We already did that. Yep. So yeah, I guess you yeah. guys are in uh, for a surprise. What, what, what do we got? Well, give us a guess. And... Well, all I got to say is yeehaw. to the ranch this is uh one of my buddy's ranch here in it's monterrey it's like right in the city yeah we're right in the middle of the city and we're about to get uh it's gonna get interesting yeah we're about we're about to get a school in yeah. some it's a mexican cowboy charro, yeah. charro. charro. culture which charro. is like the traditional yeah. cowboy that wear uniforms they do tricks with the yeah. ropes and everything yeah, yeah. so i'm yeah. from texas i kind of know a little bit about Yeehaw. the cowboy yeah. game how about you what's your experience this is a different well horse deal. riding i'm i'm i would say from one to ten horse riding probably a seven wow that's solid good. seven okay well that's good wow. i've never ridden a horse <laughs> so i'm like in the negatives uh and rackley's ridden a horse yeah. so this should yeah. go well for me uh -huh. um but we're we're planning on doing a little bit of a challenge here yeah uh, now that we're at the ranch i mean we've got there's just crazy animals running yeah. around we've got bulls horses and everybody's just lassoing everything everywhere i look someone just <laughs> throwing a lasso somewhere so i think what we're going to do is we're going to get schooled on we're uh, we're going to get a lesson on how to lasso i have no idea i've never tried it and then we're going to try to do a little competition to see who can lasso a little a bull. little model cow not a real cow you don't fastest. think so do you real are you going real? Let's let just a say real Charo <laughs> would get a, li a real little bull. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> but okay, let, maybe let, I don't let, know. Let, well, let's just see how good we are. First. Let's just let's say how... things might get out of control here in just a little bit. Just a little yeah. Bit. yeah. <laughs> so he's the best horse rider, meaning he should ride the bull. I think. I think. Gonna be good. I, th I do not think I'll be good. But I think. I think Juan. Juan needs to ride a bull. Well, let me take that bike. Maybe I'm a five. Oh, <laughs> see, now he changes it when, when something goes bad. But we do have a bunch of little bulls here, too. Yeah. So we'll see if we can convince Juan to jump on one of those at the end. But for now, we got to be a student. we got to learn. Yeah. And, and then we're going to go into competition mode. And then I'm going to win. So, like I said, we are on one of my buddy's uh, Charro Ranch. And like, this is my first time ever, as well, experience something like that. We want, like, I want... Flair and Justin to like really experience the whole Mexican folklore, if you want to call it like that. And uh, this is as Mexican as it's gonna get for oh, us. You know? Like this is what they do every single day. So they just kind of gonna show us like how they do things here. Like they, they ha he has some students right now that he's teaching them how to ride bulls, how to ride horses, how to grow. Right. Yeah, so we're watching him right now do his thing, like the class that he's teaching. And then we're gonna try to imitate a little bit of that. Back legs. Got him. Got him. Wow, that was perfect. This just a lot is happening. We're just amazed, you know. We don't we don't get to see this every day. We don't get out much. Yeah, you're next. Next, yo, yo, yeah. See, vámonos. What? Strap up. Let's go, buddy. Yeah. Derecha o izquierda? Ah, derecha. Para agarrarse. Sí, de la derecha. I can't believe. I think he's. Hey, you got this, buddy. Because he knows it's gonna be on camera. He doesn't want to like back out. Oh, I'd back out in two seconds. Yeah. This is about to get real. Put money right now. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say five seconds. Okay, I, mean, I think five yeah, yeah. seconds is a fair estimate. Five, five seconds, you'll be all right. That's a, that's a long time. You got this for your first time. You got this. I feel like pro now. I got the best. Uh, 
He just said no one's ever ridden this bowl before, so how do they know he's the nice one? He's got the longest horns. Poor Juan. This is, uh, let's just, everybody, everybody just pray for Juan real quick. <laughs> he's uh, teaching me right now as, as he's getting me ready. And like, make sure your legs are tight. Make sure you lean back. They are pretty much giving me the whole rundown, which I probably won't remember. What's it like? The first second, everything I'm gonna forget. Yeah, about. it's I'm gonna, gonna be gonna, gone. Yeah, it's gonna be gone. That's what I'm saying. So he like, you know, make sure you're squeezing on the on the bottom, like squeezing your legs and like grabbing real tight, lean back. So I got it now, but nobody has ridden that bull before. Wait for my two trotter, baby. Dale, dale. You did it! You did it! No way, I can't believe you did, did it! Man. <laughs> How scary was that? That is scary, bro. That is scary, homie. I cannot believe you just did that. Nice, I cannot nice. believe you just did that. How did I do? How many? That was okay. It huh? didn't look great, but you made it five seconds. Yeah, you made it five seconds for it sure. Felt, it, felt, it, it felt forever, honestly. I was like, I, I thought we were like on the other side. I kind of closed my eyes, I'm not going to lie. And I just hold tight and close my eyes. Dude. Oh, I cannot believe you did that. Oh, that boy. Is, that is, that's impressive. Good hey, job. welcome to Mexico. This is wild. La soga, rope, ahí en la cabeza de la silla. Make sure your finger is on top, like pointing on those uh, coils. We're on to the next thing. We originally planned on learning how to ride a horse and learning how to lasso and then combining the two. And you're saying it's way too dangerous. Not a good idea. Peligroso el caballo no se come off. Yeah, okay. too, too dangerous. Esto te puede las Mira, ahorita por ejemplo, me quise agarrar el dedo en una, en una vuelta. So right now when he yeah. was lassoing the calf, yeah. that, that was That right just now. happened. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we don't, so, we don't need any injuries. So yeah. instead, we're still going to be doing a lassoing uh, lesson and competition to see who gets the extra points. So I've never lassoed, have you? No. Uh -uh. Have you? Yes. Why have you done everything? This is, uh, this, I feel like this just isn't fair. But Because okay. he's the dangle master. He's, he's the everything master. Let's just like, put it that I way. I like to cast all things. He's, he's a cowboy. Let's just put it that way. Anyways, we're going we're gonna, to, I guess, get lessons yeah. by a he's professional. Gonna give us lessons. And yep. we're going to see who's the best lassoer. And whoever gets the, whoever's the best gets the extra points. You watch. <laughs> oh! First shot, okay, first it didn't get Okay, like? you got four more. Yeah, great compared to what I'm gonna do. Look, do look, this is how it looked like. Dile que no le lance tan recio. Rackley, this is how it looked like. Show him. All right, he's a pro. Look, oh! Dale, 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 dale. Oh! Yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. There you go. Oh! Does that count? No. Is it? No. 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 Throw it. <laughs> Shoot. Shoot it. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. Oh! Oh, for no five. If he went all for five, there's the this cowboy, big of a chance cowboy. that I get. I don't know about one. He might, he might pull it together, but I can tell you, there ain't no way I'm getting this. Come on, you got it. You got it. You got it. Come on. The rain tent. He's like, it's a rain tent. I got one horn! <laughs> That's not worth anything, is it? Yeah, well, he's the job. Oh, yeah, true, true, true. So, yeah, well, my techniques is really good, so I'm sure I'll win. <laughs> but hey, I got a horn. All right, I'm doing something. Wait. Oh! I was close! Got him again. Oh. Yeah! I mean, I got another horn. I feel like that's gotta be worth something, boys. Nice job. Man. All right, that's I'm getting, good. I'm that's getting, three. that's number three. We got, we got two more. Listen, okay. I'm getting like. I gotta make it happen here, boys. I gotta make it happen. <laughs> got it. Oh! Got it. Let's go. Oh! Let's go. <laughs> Shoot. The technique Good is job. off of it. Let's go. I liked it. Wow. I liked the All right, we got one more. No. Oh! I, I, I don't I'm know. Go. No. I don't think so. No, you have to go. You, you can beat me. You can beat me. 
I, I will have to. I will have to get like a perfect, like perfect score. Como lo, como lo listen, hizo, como lo hizo. Listen, obviously technique doesn't matter. You saw me. Okay. I was tying knots up there. La técnica media de, de él, pero pues. Okay. La, 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 la. <laughs> Here it is. He, he said, said I was pretty bad. No, he said. The technique is very yours. You can keep <laughs> it. Oh, but, so but, but, but he said, but he said the throw yeah. is good. The throw, it's, good. The, it's on the throw. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Trying to get the creature winner. Oh, yeah. I got it, baby. Yeah. Wow. Oh! Get out of here. Vamos para adelante. No, don't You're, you, you got two halves. I had two halves and two fulls, right? Yeah. Got five. All right. So you gotta, you gotta, you either gotta get two fulls and a half uh -huh. or three fulls. Otherwise, you don't win. Game over. Yeah. Oh, another half. Another half. No, if you get a full, uh -huh. it's a tie, and then it's just a standoff. I one need on to. One. I need to get a full right now. If you get a full, it's a tie. If you get a half or less, it's over. It's you over. can't win, but you can tie. It. Oh, it's over! It's all over! It's all over! It's all over. It's all over. It's all over. Good job! I'm so proud of you, good job. You, did, you did good! Good job! You did good! You got, ha you got halves the whole yeah. time, man. That's, that's worth something. Yeah. I got lucky, okay? I got lucky and got a couple fools. Lucky, lucky hot didn't work. Your technique was hands down better than mine, so was Rackley's. It was pure luck. Right there, but Natural. your boy got the extra points. Yeah. So and you you got the W. So I got the dub. Yep. Overall, it's been an amazing cowboy experience over here at the ranch. Flair got the hundred points. Now let's got move the on to our next adventure. have made it back to the hotel. We've all showered, cleaned off. Um, Yeehaw there, Juan. Because, uh, Juan is the loser of today's adventure. And what we decided that the loser's gonna have is they have to eat a lamb eyeball. And we didn't just find this lamb anywhere. The lovely gentleman that we're, we've been with uh, for the last couple days, they raise lambs and they've been butchering them and stuff because they're the right age. And they actually suggested that as, yeah. they, they think it's a delicacy. They it's it, really it, delicious. It, yeah, they said it's delicious, but we're gonna have Juan be the one to let you guys know how delicious a sheep eyeball is. I am glad I did not lose this challenge. Normally I'm all about the weird foods, you can have this one. So this is like unwrapping Christmas, a Christmas present <laughs> that you really don't want. <laughs> they say it's awesome. Uh, ah. Wow. Yeah. I don't know, man. I'm usually just, I'm usually for whatever. On this case, like I said, I am really glad I'm not on this end of it. You've eaten. I've eaten really bad things. <laughs> this stuff. just, I just don't know. I don't know. It's home for you. This is, this is a little bit much, but uh, you can dig in, my guy. No, I, I only had to get like one eyeball, right? Yeah, one eyeball. You did. I'm, a, I'm a man, I'm a man of my word, Ooh. so loser. Although I got to have the most fun today, because I rode the bull. That's true. You're the man, you're the man. You're the bull, you're the bull. You really shouldn't eyeball. have to eat bull, that. You, bull you riding. Should, you should have had yeah. like 500 points for riding the bull. <laughs> yeah. But for some reason, you didn't negotiate that in the deal, and uh, well. Yeah. You're being a good sport about it. I'm so. gonna just do a little sprinkle right there, a little pepper, a little flavor on it, a little salt right there. Here we go. Oh, oh. you're doing a two biter. Oh, Ooh, slow about it. Ooh. Uh oh. Ooh, that's I'm not good. Oh, oh no, that's oh. not good. Ooh. That's not good. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Oh no! Nice. That was a really bad reaction. Yeah, that that. Mm. What did that taste like? What did that? Don't spit up! Don't, don't oh. do it! Don't do it! Yeah, uh, I let I let my friends from Monterey get this delicacy. It's not a delicacy, man. What did it taste like? Describe it. Have you um, ever had anything like it? No, it's all, all like fatty, smushy, you yeah. know, like texture, and then liquid too. What did it you taste like though? What it, you what want a lime, amigo? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what it tastes like. It tastes like. Eyeball. I would say cheers to one of the day, but we don't have anything to drink. We like this guy didn't even give me water or anything like that. No, no. That's like that's messed up. Man. You're a man. 
your man. That's all I gotta say. You, you did good. You're a champ. Eyeball. Even though Thank I you. think you should have won in my book. because you, know? you you rode the ball. You should have gotten some points. But you know what? We, there's always tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow's a new day. We've got a, another adventure planned. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying this series of Uncharted. And uh, I'm excited. Tomorrow's a new day. And, and we're not that far apart in points. Yeah. Stay tuned for tomorrow on Uncharted. I'm ready for you, homie. Okay. Take your time. Take your time. Take your time. Oh, baby. Yeah! yeah.